eyes as if you really see what I'm going through. Like you understand the position I'm in when you're the one on top of me. Suppressing any ounce of strength I have, grip being and grinding so sharp and hard, it's as if your hands are like that of a meat grinder. Grinding, pounding from the very flesh of my skin into my fragile bones, frightening, stealing every breath I Don't look at me with those eyes while you whisper what your cynical mind thinks are playful whispers when in reality they are like that of black magic chants freezing my body, twisted tongue that prevents me from screaming for aid, bound it like a witch's binds, binding skeletons in the closet, hiding because the monster not only lives under but on hers and gets fed, crying. Far more grotesque than bed bugs that we someday lay eggs and infest my bed sheets. I prefer that instead. Dying, powerless, as I lay as a wilted flower upon the edge. Help me, help me, help me! Someone save us from the monsters that pray and stop us. Our bodies are no longer our bodies. The devil crept in and fed. Don't look at us. Don't look at us. Because we are ashamed of something we could not control, a dirty secret engraved on our mental state like a faded name on a tombstone. Our eyes are the windows to our spirit, our soul, and everything we see. Surviving is victory in any tragic event, but still, how can I erase the moment sexual assault took my innocence when the way I'm feeling inside is far from R.I.P.? Not put to rest. Don't look at me. Yeah. The poet is Gloria Bueno, the assistant.